I just took my mask off. I'm disgusted as much as I am upset. I'm seeing some school kids. They're just out here having good old funky time, not keeping the one and a half meter distance. Honestly and truly, I've had it. So I went to the market to get some nuts because their nuts are the best. And this is gonna be a very shaky video, but whatever. I need to get all this out because this is driving me nuts. I went to the market to get some nuts. And the guy is wearing gloves. Some of those black gloves, right? I'm like, groovy. That's what we want to see. Then, then this man proceeds to blow his nose. He blows his nose. Oh God. He blows his nose with the gloves on. Then puts the tissue down on the counter. That's just very close to the nuts. Like the tissue could fall. The tissue with all the stuff could fall into the nuts. And then he would just serve it up to, to, to people like me. So that's one. But then he just proceeds to use the same gloves. He doesn't remove them and washes his hands and put on a new pair of gloves. He just continues to use the same gloves. I'm, I'm absolutely flabbergasted and in shock. But knowing me, I didn't let that be the end of it. I had something to tell him, so I did. What's up YouTube? What's cool? What's cool? What's happening? In case you missed it, in case you missed what I was saying when I was on my back and I was stressed and pressed, honey, I'm just going to do a quick recap. So after about two months, I was like, I want to go to the market. I went up there. They got some of the best nuts. They are fried. I didn't even know they were deep fried, but they're deep fried. They're deep fried. Some of them, um, very fresh, very always warm. You get a bag of nuts, they're always warm and they taste amazing, delicious, best nuts you've ever had. So I went to the market after some few months. I'm wearing my gloves, I'm wearing my mask, unlike everybody else, I am ready. I am ready to go out there. I'm on my bike, I come around the corner, scoot, scoot, bling, bling, broom, vroom. I get up, I get up there and I see the dude, okay? One of the dudes, it's two of them. I see the dude, he's with a tissue. And you go and make sure you hit bump stomp as long as I subscribe button. Comment, like, share, and hit the notification bell whilst you're at it. Let's get into it. And I'm like, okay, what he about to do? I need to see this because depending on whatever, what, what his hygiene tells him to do right at this moment, that will decide what I will do with myself. Now, mind you, I am a little OCD and I'm a neat freak and <laughs> Anywho, so I want to see what he wanted to do, what he was about to do, especially in these uh, in these times where everybody's trying to be hygienic and trying to be proper and clean. All of a sudden, everybody knows what hygiene is. All of a sudden, everybody's buying up soaps and buying up hand gels and buying up tissues where before people would walk on the street talking about some fee, fee. I see y'all, I see y'all nurses doing this type of stuff. So, anyway, so I went there. I saw him do that. And then the first thing that I wanted to know is where is he gonna put the tissue? So the tissue, he just kind of little bit and kind of just put it there. Where's there? Just by the nuts, the nuts that I was about to buy. That's where he put them. So I was like, okay. So it's like the nuts go like that. They go like that. And then there's like a countertop situation. He put them on the countertop. So they could have fallen into the nuts. I was like, okay, that's disgusting thing number one. Let me just see what he's about to do. Because he was wearing gloves, those black ones. Him and the other dude, they were wearing those black gloves. So I'm like, okay, is he about to remove these gloves, wash his hands, or put a huge chunk of disinfectant gel, and then proceed like to wear different gloves or something, and then proceed to help me, you know? No, he was just standing there. So I'm like, oh my gosh, and they're greeting me, like, good morning, da da da, -da. And I'm just standing there, and I'm in shock. I'm in actual shock. But I'm like, I cannot leave this place without telling this guy that what he was doing was wrong, that he should not have done that, that these are dire times, this is very, these are very serious times, and you're in the eye of the public, and people are seeing you doing a certain thing. You cannot be doing these things, right? I was like, I need to tell him. I need to tell him before I go. I don't care. I, I already knew I was never going to buy any nuts, but I needed to tell him what's good. So what I ended up doing is I stood there for a very long time because I'm trying to gather my words. I'm like, how am I going to tell this guy what I want to tell him, right? So I'm looking at the stuff. I'm looking at the knots. They're looking juicy and great. And I'm just crying inside. And I'm looking. I stand there for a good two minutes. They're like, oh, can we help you? And I'm like, no, nah, I'm just looking. Even though I knew exactly what I wanted, right? So I'm just looking. I'm scanning. I'm looking. I'm scanning. I'm like, how do I tell him? How do I tell him without sounding mean? How do I tell him without sounding creepy and weird? Because obviously when you have the mask, it covers like half of your face. All you can see is your eyes. And I've been told that my eyes are quite intense. Like when I want to say something, you can basically read my eyes and know what I'm trying to say. But for other people that don't know me, obviously, this is very hard. This is very difficult. So they're probably looking at me like, if I say this thing and I sound very harsh, I'm just going to sound 
or look mean or seem mean to them how am i gonna how am i gonna say this in a way that he's gonna change his practice because that's what i want i want him to change what he's doing so i stand there for about two minutes and then after a while i just stand right in front of him and then there's no other people at this particular spot in the market and even if there were i don't give a hoot i would i would have still said it so that the other person can make up their mind whether they want to buy the stuff these are rona times and i'm not about to risk anybody else getting sick so i had to tell him what was on my mind so this is what i said i said um i said not trying to not trying to be mean or anything and i was looking a little something like this i was like, like not trying to be mean or anything but i did come around the corner and saw you blowing your nose but you're wearing gloves and you're serving food and that's gonna be really problematic like if anybody sees you anybody like me or anybody else or like like these people that go around checking folk you're gonna be in big trouble like you cannot be doing this like he's like yeah well you know you right you right but like yeah but you right you right you right you right you right um and i'm like and he's like but yeah, you know, people be saying different things, you know what I'm saying? Like, some people are like, don't wear the mask, wear the mask. And other people are like, wear the gloves, don't wear the gloves, you know. I, I don't know what to do. And in my mind, I'm like, do people tell you, blow your nose, don't blow your nose. Blow your nose with the gloves, don't blow your nose with the gloves. Wear your wear your gloves but use your gloves to do nasty things and then serve your customers don't wear your gloves and then do nasty things and serve your customers it's very confusing it's not that confusing it's not that confusing so i'm just standing there and i'm like people are saying a lot of different things but um not about this though this is quite this is quite clear cut just don't like if you're going to do something like that you have to remove your gloves wash your hands or disinfect your hands real good eh? Ooh, ooh. Do, 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 do. even with alcohol gel do all this because you're in the public eye you're working with food like you need to do this stuff okay and then your hands are clean let it dry off and then you wear different pairs of gloves and then you serve me or whoever else that's what i told him i literally did tell him that because i stood there for two minutes trying to formulate what i was going to tell this dude so that's what i ended up telling dude and whew, well he still wasn't having any of it he was like yeah but you know it's quite confusing you know some people are saying this and then other people are saying that so you know i really don't i really i per personally i really don't know what to do like it, mm, it's confusing i was like yeah some stuff is confusing but not this anywho i'm gonna browse some more and i said this because i still did not want to leave the place i wanted to see what he was going to do after i had spoken to him so i stood there and i was still browsing ah, i'm still looking do, 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 do. so as i'm doing that i can see him the, the bag that the nuts go in the paper bags i can see him just rearranging them and i'm like so, 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 so you're still using the same gloves hey jesus is lord you're still using the same gloves that i told you were contam they're completely contam they are contam and you're using the same gloves to touch these paper bags okay but you want my money So anyway, at some point I'm like, okay, let's see how far this goes. That's the outside of the bag. Maybe the Rona can't slip through it. What if I touch the bag afterwards? I don't know. Anywho, uh, give me those peanuts over there. Give me bubbly black gram. So he's like, okay. Picks up the thing, the scoopity scoop thing. But before he does that, he opens up the paper bag with his hands and puts his dirty, disgusting contam gloves into my paper bag when i tell you my heart sunk my heart sunk he didn't care and then i realized that maybe he's being difficult because it's a very nice dude okay i shop here i used to shop, shop here all the time good dude very nice customer service is great but i was just i just started to think maybe these people do not have enough gloves maybe they came here with one set of gloves for the entire day and that's my problem with people who wear gloves they wear the gloves but actually they're very nasty with it so it doesn't matter you might as well not wear gloves because then i don't i don't really care it could be your hands touching the stuff you're doing nasty things with it anyway i wonder if some of these people when they go to the loo whether they even remove these gloves go to the loo and come back out or whether they're too lazy to do that they just want to keep the gloves on and come back out and serve you food i've heard many stories of all these fast food restaurants and people who work there and literally saw people going into the loos and coming back out without washing their hands this is a known fact we all know this but i don't want to see it i don't want to see it and when i do see it and i tell you to change it and you're still doing the same stuff that i have an issue with a big big issue with oh yeah i was big mad i was very mad 
So what did I do? He proceeded to put the nuts in there. And then I was like, yeah, I've had it. I don't think I could have me or anybody else eat these nuts. Like I would constantly be thinking that that those nuts, the nuts got the Rona. The nuts got the Rona. Like I, I wouldn't feel comfortable. So I was like, okay. I've done all that I could do here. Um, I spoke my mind. I didn't go off and just shake my head and then think about it all day or it niggle at me so much that I would actually have to come back. At which point it would be kind of like, oh, I didn't do that. Or there'd be other customers there so he wouldn't admit it. No, I wanted to face to face, be able to say what I had to say and I did it and to protect other people because hygiene is so important. So anyway, I did all that and then I just told, I was like, nah, this, this ain't gonna fly. So I just said to him, you know what? Forget it. It's fine. Forget it. Just leave it. I'm a germaphobe. I wouldn't be able to do this. Y'all the best. You guys are the best. You guys have the best nuts over here. You guys, you, you're the best. But today I can't, I cannot. No, y'all need to fix that. Mind you, I told you there were two guys. The other dude is over there frying some nuts, minding his own business. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, she, she might be onto some, and I'm like, but why? But why? Okay, first of all, why did he not say anything? It's almost like he was in agreement with what was happening, right? I don't know why he didn't say anything and like contribute something to the conversation because now he just looked like somebody who is agreeing with what's going on here, is agreeing with these practices, which also made me think that these practices are normal, that this is something that they, that just happens all the time. I just never caught them in the app. I just never caught them doing these things. And you know what's interesting? About five months, hmm? Yeah, about five, six months ago, something like this would happen and you'd just be like, that's nasty, but you wouldn't even think you'd catch a cold. You'd just be like, that's nasty, but oh well, it's just nasty, right? Because we've seen things like this before. But hygiene never seemed to be like our top, 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 top priority. You know, it's just like, ah, germs are good for you. You'll get a lot of, you know, it's good for your immune system. Bring on the germs, can't do any harm. And now everybody's like, but you got alcohol gel though, but you got some gloves on deck though. Like now everybody's like, mm-mm. Mm -mm. We're not having any of that and I hope that stays. For somebody like me, like that would be amazing. We continue to call people out. We continue to say things like they are. And the fact that the other dude didn't say anything made me think, okay, this is normal. This is a normal practice. This is a normal thing that they do. And it is for a lot of places. I've seen a lot of things. I've seen people um, serving up uh, like donor kebabs and they have like a, a nosebleed and they're just like, oh well, back to chopping these onions. Oh, tears. Oh, snot. Oh, blood. Whoop, whoop. Chop, 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 chop. Whoop. Let's grab that and let's put that somewhere. I have seen that with my own two eyes. I have seen it. So these are things that happen. And when you saw me on the bike there, I just walked away from the crime scene and I was just like, no, 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 no. Oh my God, no, no. This is actually a little bit later. I, 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 I had to cool down. I, I didn't know what to do with myself. And I was just like, no, this can't be what? In these times, what? No, I was in complete and utter shock. And then I went to the supermarket and a whole host of other things happened, but that's for another video, cause yeah. And as I left, I could feel like eyes on me. So like the person selling the flowers and the person selling clothes and the person selling other things, they were all kind of looking because like I'm standing there. First of all, you already look crazy with your mask on, crazy for the people who refuse to wear these masks um and then i was like standing there for a very long time and it's like when you go to the market you already know what you want so why are you standing there like between the anyway so why are you standing there so then when i left everybody i could feel eyes burning i could feel people looking at me like so what was her deal she did not end up buying anything <sighs> but that i couldn't be bothered this is a safety hazard this is a safety hazard this is not okay and the fact that i didn't change his ways like i don't really know what to do about that you know because the thing is nah it's crazy it's crazy but anyway i got more juicy stories for y'all more juicy stories just be careful out there like maybe in these times go for things that are packaged it's it's way better go for things that are packaged go for things that are already sealed you know it, where they manufacture make these things and these packets usually they were already wearing head scarfy things to protect us from getting hairs in our food it's it's done in a very good way and yet still one day i found this in my chrisley i sure did i sure did and i sure did send them a letter with pictures saying look what i found in my chrisley and so then they gave me like a voucher to get more chrisley which took me months to get because i was scared till this day when i eat chrisley because i still eat it 
this is a one-off event i mean these things can happen some of these things are one-off events it won't happen all the time it, maybe it won't happen again but <laughs> with the crisly it took me years to eat that stuff again years years and years and years and i had to convince myself that this wouldn't happen again because what are the chances that this would happen again but with this guy on the market i don't know if he just wanted to be right and therefore didn't listen to me but i'm your customer you should actually listen to me because it's in your interest to listen to me because i pay you money for what you're offering me so if i don't like the way you're handling things and i'm completely right in this and you said that you were like you're right you're right you're right and then turn around you're right but then you turn around not doing anything about it now i wonder what i would have said if you just used like the alcohol gel on top of the gloves because I know people will be doing stuff like this. I know people are re reusing gloves because a pack of gloves is now like 15 euros. It's now like 10 pounds. It's super expensive. So yeah, it's a problem. That is a problem. The problem is also not having enough of these things. But I think in general, if I were him just to keep me happy, I would have removed the gloves, put on disinfectant on my hands, be like, yeah, I don't have any other gloves. So the rest of the day, I'm just going to rock it like this and be putting disinfectant on my hand periodically and serve you. Sorry, ma'am. There was no sorry. There was no apology. This was all, ah, it's fine. So yeah, it's crazy out there. Just be careful. Be vigilant. I don't want to take businesses away from people on the market or whatever, but do try and clock what their hygiene is doing because this is your life. It's really that serious. This coro is spreading all over the place. We don't know how. Everybody's being cautious and yet people are still catching the disease. So be very, very careful. Don't take anything lightly because I'm sure when people catch it, they're thinking to themselves, so where did I catch it? Where did I get this thing from? And you'll never be able to tell. But the best thing is to always do right by yourself because you're the only one who cares about yourself the way you care about yourself. You're the only one who can, who can really help yourself out in this world, like make good decisions. And if whatever you do is based upon other people's decisions then watch what they're doing and make your decisions based off of that that's my little two cents and yeah make sure you make time for glorious life it's time to start what 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 living it right and i'll see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.